You can get some weird stuff off Wish.com, and it turns out cycling gear is no exception. Jimmy's been in a grumpy mood recently, so I thought I'd do some late night shopping and buy him some presents. You excited? Why don't you ever put things away after you use them? I was buying you presents, been busy. Whatever it is, it's just run out of battery. It's like, a, do you know you go to like like a kid's party and they have like gifts in a bag and you have to dip your hand in it? Yeah, and choose which, are, except they're all for you. And yet I want none of them. Was this the one that was flashing a minute ago? Mm -hmm. Before we continue, that brings us on to our video sponsor, Sturka. If you order with our link in the description, you get 25% off your first purchase of Sturka bars, gels, electrolyte tablets, and some other stuff. Do you know it's got plasma tech in it? Plasma tech? Like in every sci-fi computer game ever made. Plasma tech. Oh. In all seriousness, Sturka have now changed the packets of their gels, so they're now even easier to open. If you want to buy any of their stuff, 25% off link in description down below. Back to the video. <laughs> I've seen London people with versions of these and you hang it to the back of your, your saddle and it looks like your balls are hanging out. Oh, don't want, to, don't want to touch it on your face. So I believe people normally hang them off of their saddles. So I guess it just fits through itself. And now, whilst I'm riding, it's going to look like my balls are hanging out. The light in the day doesn't really work very well. But even in the day, it still has added comedy value, I guess. What does it look like from behind? Does it look, does it look like balls? Yeah. Does it look weird? Yeah. It's a ridiculous product. It is, it's silly, it's fun. I'm gonna give it a rating of seven out of 10. What did you pay for my balls? Guess how much? Uh, well, my balls are priceless. Um, with it being Wish, I don't actually know how much this stuff cost on Wish. This was £4.46, with 14 p everything here cost 14p postage. As much as I hate this product, it has brought me some joy. <laughs> it's already working. It's already working. This makes me think of like a, a ration pack on a computer game. Maybe it is. There's only one way to find out. It's literally the, the hardest bag in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I know what this is. I like the colour. This is one of those things to make things higher, isn't it? Okay. It doesn't quite fit, but there we go. These. Oh, I could have put them underneath and made it even higher. Oh, I'm going to have to, aren't I? Right, let's get this brake cable off and we're going to make it massive. Because if you're going to do it, do it properly. This feels very dangerous. We need to try and work out if this is actually safe or not. I guess it is, isn't it? Because it's not a carbon steerer, I feel like this is actually kind of okay. So we're clamping metal onto metal so that metal can be put onto metal. And that all, all sounds okay to me. Putting metal onto carbon so that metal can go onto metal doesn't sound okay to me. As long as you're happy, Jimmy, because you're going to be riding it, so I don't care. I'm not happy because this is a sketch fest. Cheerful. Francis, I felt like a gentleman. I don't know why. It's a relaxing position. Dignified. I don't know about dignified, but relaxing at least. It's definitely gonna void your manufacturer's warranty if you used it. There's a definite chance it's dangerous, but those two small things aside, I kind of like it. <laughs> I can't possibly ever suggest anyone gets one, but I quite like it. You'd be better off getting a bike that has that kind of upright slack geometry. I'm going to give it a rating of a five out of ten. I'm at the point I have no idea what could be coming up next. It appears to be a really bad chamois that almost definitely goes over your saddle. You're an animal. Well, I thought because you're a kit manufacturer, you know all about chamois. So I would want this. Yeah, as a, you can test it and then maybe you can roll it out as a new product. <laughs> Surprisingly, they have actually considered it as a, as a product. It's got reflective at the back. It's got little silicon grippers on the bottom, although they don't really work very well, to try and get it to stay. How do you know they don't place. work well? Well, I can tell by feeling it. They're like, they're shiny, so they're not very, they're not sticky. Mmm, doing a great job. It goes quite tight. 
That's actually, that's not moving, that's in place. It's a horrible product that they've designed really well. What's horrible about it? Why would you want it red? That, why would you want the top of your saddle to look like that? Why isn't that black? I was just going over the order confirmation to remind myself of what this was listed as on wish.com. Tampon de gel de silicone saddle. That's well good. If that's not gonna cheer you up. It isn't good, it is it's an absolute piece of crap. Just be out the saddle. Well, I can't be out of the saddle. What's the point of me being out of the saddle? <laughs> I can't see it. There you go, yeah. I guess it's not terrible. It's un it doesn't really add much. If you want it to like, I don't know, I was gonna say keep the dirt off your bike, but it's definitely gonna then absorb. Imagine it rained, how wet that would be. It's a rubbish product, but I did enjoy it because it's so rubbish. I'm gonna have to give it seven out of 10, but not because it's a good product, because it's a terrible product and I enjoyed that. This is gonna be a long day. We've still got a lot of more bags to get through. This one. You're already smiling and getting happier. If this doesn't cheer you up, I don't know what will. Did you get this for me because you know I love flat packs? What is that? That's his glasses. What's this? Oh. That's a gold chain for him. This is flat pack. This is the most enjoyable bit about it. So that goes on his bum. Does that go inside maybe? It's the only place it can go. Oh, there's, there's padding inside the helmet. This helmet ducky was one pound, one P. Best value item on the list, I reckon. We're gonna have to name it, aren't we? Suggestions for names in the comment section down below. Should we go gangster and not do the helmet up? Because I feel like the, the chin strap will get in the way of, of the bling, so we're gonna go with this. So now what do you do with it? You put it on your handlebars. Why? He looks cool as f He's cool, isn't he? Oh, he's smiling already. I don't know why, but it's just great, isn't it? I think it's his outfit though. Look how good that outfit is. It's a 10 out of 10. You can't not love that. One pound. That is bang for your buck. Uh, ooh, this is going to be clothing, isn't it? I sense another chamois. Uh. Cycling shorts. I'm actually a bit disappointed now you've opened this. The product page, the photo, the man had it on inside out. So it looked really funny. You can just wear it inside out. Well, you should wear it inside out. I should never wear this. I guess we should give these a whirl. Yeah, cool. Thanks, mate. I like how you still got the tag on. Are they really noticeable? Because right? to me, it's just black. I'm just like, oh, it just looks alright. It's cool. It's just like shorts over trousers. What's it look like from behind? Do it look like a baboon? <laughs> how do they function? Um, not very well. They probably would be better if I put them under my trousers. I think that's the idea. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. But then we couldn't film them. Well, we could. With a GoPro inside your trousers. Yeah, I guess the trousers could go as well. We'll save that for a future episode. Save that for OnlyFans. Link down below. <laughs> Much like the padding on the saddle thing, function-wise, like, one out of ten. Enjoyment factor, like, nine out of ten. It's the one that, as I'm riding, I'm like, people can see this, and I enjoy that. So they must be like, what is wrong with that guy? Little one. I think I've seen companies selling these for like really huge amounts of money. Wow, that's an anti-climax, isn't it? You can barely hear that here. Well, you're not happy with your present? No, that's sh absolute sh One pound 93. I, I feel like that isn't very loud. I feel like if you're riding down a canal path or down a, the sea to sea or whatever, and you start doing this, no one's gonna do anything. You might be able to tune your piano from it though. I'm disappointed in this one, Francis. You've let me down. Good <laughs> you are, Right, let's get it on, see what it's like in the real world. You can't put it anywhere. It won't fit. This legitimately doesn't open up very much. So, not road bike friendly. Is there anywhere this is gonna go? It actually works better than I thought it was going to. It doesn't make me happy, but it does work. I'm gonna give it a rating of two out of 10 for happiness, four out of 10 for functionality. Ooh. 
bicycle electronic horn. Oh, so now we're talking. No, 140 decibels. That's like, I'm sure that's like a jumbo jet. A firecracker or fireworks or a jet engine. Are you sure Noises. you want to let this off in here? It looks like the man on the box is tooting. It also is a 300 decibel security alert. 300 decibels. We're going to have to put ear protection on. Take safety serious, kids. Is that it? It wasn't loud to me. Was it loud to you? It's quite loud. It has five buttons and only one does something. A few minutes later. Six hours later. I'm not going back in until that stops. That is really loud. Three weeks later. What just happened? <laughs> did it cheer you up? <laughs> it says press and hold the right key to clear. I did that multiple times and it didn't. It was interesting though, whilst the alarm siren bit, which is apparently 300 decibels, was going off, if I pressed the horn, it still worked. <laughs> it was nice smashing something. That was fun. <laughs> and I like my outfit right now. That cost four pounds 10p. That makes it the most expensive mini USB cable you've ever bought. Three to go. Wrapped well. Bicycle inner bar. Inner bar? What does that mean? Again, isn't gonna fit on the bar. What is this? This shape is designed to correct the position of the hand and naturally align the joints of the forearm. So these don't fit on a traditional road bike bar, so we've pulled a mountain bike out of the archives. Thankfully it says left and right, so I know which one to go on. Left. What do you do with it? All oh, right, the left one goes on the right. These cost £6.33, so they're actually one of the more expensive items on the list. <laughs> I just don't really get it. They feel way too small in your hands. Yeah. But they're obviously made for people with smaller hands than us. I, I would feel much more comfortable holding the, bo the bar traditionally. I didn't enjoy it. This is a flop product, sorry. It's not funny and the letters are the wrong way around. Two out of ten. I've got two left. I want to see what this big one is. Absolutely not. I refuse. We've made a video of this before. I know this product well, or this type of product well. It will take us four years to put them on. It'll take us four years to take them off. Solid tires. Why would you do this, Francis? Why would you buy solid tires knowing how disgusting they are? Our final piece. Finally, this madness can end. Oh, what was that game you used to play as a kid where you pass the parcel? <laughs> what? what is that? Are we going on holiday? Thank you for meeting. What's the product though? Oh, I think this could be a winner. If this works, we might be on to a winner. Or another very expensive USB-C cable. Spoke lights. I think this is the most expensive item. £9.64. Should we fit it? Do you want to see the installation guide? One image. Another image, the same image again. <laughs> what? We need techno music over this. That's worked a lot better than I thought it was going to. It's a bit of an anticlimax. You, you probably have to go very fast for it to look good. 
because that was like normal sort of speed around town and it was like whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm sure it's great in the night if you're like hooning it about. I'm going to give it a cheer factor of five because half of the time it doesn't add any cheer. <laughs> I can comfortably say that all bar one of these products I will never use again. This guy, I'm keeping him. But like he said earlier, we need to give him a name. Comment down below what name we should name Ducky. Subscribe because we've got some great new videos coming up and I wouldn't want you to miss them. Okay, thanks, bye!